I think I, I realized that I loved art since I was a little child. I always loved to draw and paint, and I was one of the kids in school that always wanted to do the title pages and the posters when we had a group project. But I wasn't encouraged all that much because that aptitude wasn't as encouraged as much as uh, aptitudes in English or math or science. So as I went through my journey, I took a couple of degrees in university that were degrees you could get a job with. And all of my options as I took those degrees were in the fine art faculty. So I felt like I snuck it in and beat the system. So uh, I, was, I was able to get some of my art classes through through university. I taught high school and junior high school for a while. I, I taught art as well as uh, some other subjects. And it was really fun, but I never felt quite as much joy from teaching school as I did from actually painting. So over the years, I started to paint more and more and teach less. I job shared and worked half time and then did part time job as well and finally got to a point where I, I felt my artwork was at a place that I could quit and uh, I started painting full time and gave up my tenure and my medical and all that and took the plunge and I've never looked back. I've had so many wonderful opportunities. I've been very, very fortunate with my creative journey up to this point. Some of the opportunities that I came across in the arts starting from the beginning were probably some of the the art groups and societies making friends in the arts and connecting to people across Canada and the United States has has been just a, a lovely lovely experience L taking uh, workshops uh, painting full-time uh, being in group and solo shows international exhibitions as well have been wonderful often you take the time to go and be a part of the excitement if, if the exhibition is somewhere else and then you in turn meet other people. Uh, I've been very fortunate to be a part of uh, the F&W family as a contributing editor for the Artist magazine. Um, I'm, I'm so very fortunate to be able to participate in all different levels of the arts whether it's writing or being a jury for an exhibition or painting in my studio. Keeping inspired in the arts, I, I think, is, for me, all about staying authentic and honest with what I want to paint. So when I'm, when I'm painting, uh, choosing a subject, choosing the mediums that I want are, are foremost. I, I want to try to paint things that are meaningful, that have some content to them. I remember back when I was painting for just a few years, I painted all types of subjects. And at some point, it seemed to be a little bit hollow. So I felt that I needed to add more richness to the content of what I was painting. And I thought about writers who are told, write what you know, write what you are interested or passionate about. And so I thought I should do the same thing with my painting. And I started to paint people because my, my family and my friends are so very important to me. And it's, it's funny, but I think there was something about the paintings of people that connected with others. I don't know if I happened to catch an expression or a, a thought that somebody was in the middle of, but it was, um, they, they were well received. And so then from there I went to where are the people, where do they live, what's important to them. And I did a whole series on the family farm because both of my grandparents homesteaded. And those homesteads were tough, breaking the land and having all the children and going through the depression and the whole bit. So it was, it was lovely to be able to take bits and pieces, fragments of the past and put together installations and assemblages with that for a traveling exhibition. Uh, and then from there, I, I, I thought, well, what, what types of articles and, and things do people have that they cherish, whether it be an old vase or a still life. Those are the types of things that, that are interesting to also put into a painting or even a document or a receipt that somebody had from you know, 1972 or 1948. And, and you can put part of that 
piece of time or whatever was significant to that person into a painting. So those types of things I think have been uh, good for me to inspire me and to keep me painting. I think art uh, is a, you're, it's a journey. You start in one place and that's where you are and that's just real and the way it is. And as you move forward, I, at least me, I'll, I'll go off and try different things. And then when I go back and try something that's more traditional in practice, it's been affected by all those experiences that I've had. And I can still go back and do a pure transparent watercolor, but I've moved into a different location and I'm enjoying the mixed media and the collage. So again, I think it's, it's a part of being authentic and uh, honest with yourself and what you want to do. I think that's how you create the best artwork. Oh,